fat It's cause I'm running from all my problems Like a Christmas tree I'm lit And dead inside but still that If you give a man a fish You'll feed him for a day If you teach a man to fish Then you'll give him a profile picture That he'll use on Tinder for literally the next five years Thank you Thank you Thank you. Thank you. He's one of the biggest TikTok stars right now. 2.5 million followers, over 2.5. Canada's own sensation, Josh Zilberberg, is best known for his thank you catchphrase. And he's now releasing, as you heard, his debut single inspired by his most famous words. He joins us now to chat all about his social media journey and success. Young man, congratulations. Welcome to the show. Hello, thank you so much for having me. What a catchy song. Congrats on this incredible following. Did you ever imagine that back in March 2020, so it's been just over two years, that you would have like a legitimate career come out of your TikToking? Literally, no one would have imagined, especially not myself. I was the last person that knew what was going on, if we're being honest. I literally, so I used to work in sales at a furniture company, and then I tick like, TikTok started to like sort of become more popular and then COVID started happening and then I just had more free time on my hands. I was working from home and I just started posting videos. I really thought it would just be like for my close friends and family to see, like I treated it like my Instagram. And then, I don't know, I went to bed one day, woke up and a video had a million views and then it kept happening over and over again. And then I used to literally sneak into the back room at work and go film TikToks in the back until one day I was like, oh, this is my job now. In your everyday life, how many people say thank you back to you and think they're really clever like they're the first person to ever do it to you? Every single person that stops me in the street does that. However, I'm super appreciative. Honestly, without people doing that, I wouldn't have any of the things that I'm doing today. So it means the world to me and like can say thank you as many times as they want and I'll still say it back. Was that always like a Josh-ism or did it come like organically with TikTok? No, so what's so funny is people have always sort of like teased me, like playfully, but teased me for sort of like the way that I enunciate certain words. And so I remember one day before COVID, I was at work and I got off the phone with a client and I was like, okay, have a great day. Thank y'all. And I hung up the phone and everyone in my desk was like, what was that? And I was like, I don't know. That's how I say thank you. And they literally, for the rest of my employment, they teased me about how I said thank you. And so I incorporated it into a TikTok video, just like almost like a gag for like the people that I worked with. Mm-hmm. And then I guess the rest of the world resonated with it too. I'm not really sure. The, the catchphrase obviously is, is what a lot of people know you by, but like well, having watched a few of your videos, you're, I mean, that's, that's kind of not doing you a, a service. You're extremely funny. You're, an, you're, an, you're a fantastic communicator. That's what that's what draws people in. How much pressure, though, is on a, a TikToker of your status? I'm curious. When you're this big, like how how much time do you spend into the in in the creation process of it? Oh my goodness. So it's probably my biggest sort of like struggle, I think, with doing this full time is that the second that this became work and not just like something I was doing for fun and for like my inner circle and close friends. Now, all of a sudden, there's a pressure attached to it. And I've never really had to deal with that before. And so I feel like it definitely takes some of the fun out of like being creative. But that being said, there's just weeks where it just comes to me and I can crank out a bunch of videos and I have no problems. And then there's weeks where literally I struggle and I pull my hair out and I beg my boyfriend for like any feedback and like it's just it's one of those things where like it's like so ebbs and flows and I I think that was something I never really anticipated. Which makes you human which is why millions of people love you and uh, big names like RuPaul, BB Rexa, Sharon Stone, uh, Jay Wow, Joy Fatone, The Bachelorettes, Rachel Lindsay are fans. How does it feel to know that you've amassed this sort of audience? Honestly, it's so surreal, and I I feel like the personality that I portray online is, like, definitely very real and very authentically me, but obviously it's, like, a very exaggerated form of my persona, but that being said, I never would have, like, imagined that, and people think that I'm, like, so just, like, snarky all the time, but I'm honestly, like, I'm on this ride with everyone every day I wake up, and it's, like, a new amazing surprise, and every day I'm so humbled and so grateful. Josh Zilberberg, TikTok sensation, Canadian TikTok sensation. Josh, we appreciate the time. Uh, come back anytime. Your story, it's, it's, it continues to grow. Thank and on behalf of everyone here at BT, I'd like to end this by saying thank you. Wait, Josh, my turn. Thank you. Thank you. Who is better, Josh? Thank you. No, 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 thank you. Would, Dina, you killed it. Oh, thank yeah, you. I'm thank you. I'm trying. Josh, take it. Next time. <laughs> next time. Thank you. Next yeah. time we talk, I'll be better. I'll be better. Why are you okay, me? sounds good. Practice for me. Yeah, I, will, I will. Take care, Josh. <laughs> Continue success. Thank what you. a story. So there it is. I love it. <laughs>
All right, we're going to take a break.